Okay, here's my here's my bearing block idea. Um, sorry for print qualities and cheap filament, but um, okay. So every time I tighten my bearing holders down to the bed carriage, it gets tight again because the the screws bind the bearing against the rod. Okay, so here's the idea. The blocks in here constrain the bearing in the Y direction and the X direction, but it's free to rotate around the Z axis. So this guy screws to the bed, those two screws in the middle are 20 millimeter spacing, so they screw to the bed. Uh, square nuts, six square nuts, <laughs> I know it's a lot, but the cap's not really rigid enough to only use two screws since I can't put them in the middle. Okay, so you screw, screw this guy to screw three or four, uh, if you're lucky enough to get a custom bed, uh, to, the, to the carriage, and then put all the bearings on them and let them self-align. And then you put the cap on and you screw it down and it just clamps the bearing in place. It's a flat surface there, so hopefully it shouldn't change the alignment or bind the bearing. And that's it. Here, let me demonstrate. There you go. And once you once you clamp this down, it's tight. It won't twiddle, and like twiddle anymore. So that's my idea for bindless bearing blocks. Or my wife calls them metamucil they stop the binding.